Well, hello. Good to have you back. It's Majesty Steve Younger here with the Financial Drive Through, where we help you get an edge in the cryptocurrency and financial markets through up to date information, news, and everything going on in the space. So if you're new, do stick around. Hit the subscribe button so you can catch my videos as they drop and be sure to hit the like button if you like the content in this video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about Electronium and why in the last 24 hours it surged 37.84% and is the biggest winner in the cryptocurrency markets. We're going to find out why. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stick around, smash the like button and let's go there. So just yesterday, I received this email from Richard Ellis. He's the founder of Electronium Coin, and um, he had some big news for all the ETN holders and basically crypto enthusiasts in the space. So we're going to skim through this real quick and look at a few opinions on it. And I also am quite interested in knowing what you would think about this. So when you're done with the video, do let me know what you think in the comment section, okay? Here he says that just a year ago, they had a vision of creating a cryptocurrency that was so simple to use and acquire that almost everybody would have access to it. He boasted that the Electronium app has seen over 1 million app installs, and they're proud to say that the app has the same retention level as Instagram. That's a very bold statement to make. Now, the second step was going to be harder to achieve, and it's taken them a year to deliver, but now it's available to all users and global investors. So here it is. The Electronium Instant Payment API system for vendors is now open and in beta. So at this point, I'm already thinking that this was the main reason for the surge in price, but let's take a deeper look at it, shall we? Now, they claim to have made integrating cryptocurrency payments ridiculously easy, and that until now, cryptocurrencies have been difficult to integrate into tills and e-commerce systems. This is a bit debatable, but I mean, let's keep an open mind about this. He goes on to say that they've made integrating Electronium as easy as integrating with Stripe or PayPal by creating the first cryptocurrency with an API interface for payments. Now, the system has been live and open for beta testers for less than a week, but they've already seen some impressive integrations and the integration into the largest point of sale software in Egypt. They put out links to these claims. We have a Vimeo link over here, so I'm going to play this at the end of the video, so if you want to see it, just stick around. And going back over here, they talked about the largest point of sale software system in Egypt, which we just mentioned. I'm also going to link that in the details section of the video, so be sure to check it out if you can. Apparently, it's not the best quality, but we're trying to get the point across, so I mean, do check it out. Now, they claim that ETN is now the fastest and the easiest cryptocurrency to use, and e-commerce payment gateways are now on the way. So here they say they're working with a number of generous users to create instant payments integrations for the most popular shopping cart systems, including WooCommerce, Magento. They're also looking for experienced coders to create ETM payment gateways for OpenCart, OmniPay, Drupal, Jigo Shop, Easy Digital Downloads, and more. So now regarding integrating the instant payment API, you're going to find instructions for doing this in the beta program through the new community forum. And there's a link here. I'm going to put the link in the detail section as well. And if you need any free help, feel free to reach out to the community or their team through this community forum. Again, still in the detail section. They're talking about phone to phone instant notifications. Apparently, currently any transaction between phones gives an instant notification to the receiver that the ETN is on the way. It hasn't gotten there yet, but the receiver has to know it's coming and click refresh to their in-app notifications. But now that's not ideal, they say, but it's only temporary to allow them to get this live API into beta testing. It goes on to say that they're rolling out push notifications in October of 2019, and they will allow receivers to notify them that ETN is on the way, even if they don't have the Electronium app open. Advertising for Electronium is going to start in October of 2018, so that's just next month. And here they say that the API is available and KYC is announced. They're starting a large push for additional partners, agents, and vendors. Now, they have a plan for October to start recruiting additional MVNO mobile operator partners, as well as have their first MVNO accepting ETN payments by or during this October. So, I mean, there's a lot going on for Electronium. And this is probably why we saw this push over here. I mean, look at that meteoric rise. It's almost ridiculous because I personally, I'm going to say it, I don't really like Electronium. I bought in on the ICO when it came out. I bought a few. I've been holding. I um, still have some Electronium myself. I've sold a ton of it, like a lot of it, and I got some really good deals. So, I mean, that's the only love I have for Electronium. I'm pretty indifferent 
And I think it helps to have that level of indifference when you're dealing with so many cryptocurrencies. So different opinions for different people. Some people love it, some people don't. And I'm also gonna show you something I saw on Reddit from someone who apparently really hates Electronium. Why I'm showing this is just, you know, just so you can get like different opinions and different viewpoints, how things work out. And then you have the chance to create like an opinion of your own. So October is going to be a very exciting month for Electronium, they say, and they're promising you here that they would love to promote your business to uh, their large audience of users. And they might choose you as a showcase partner to be included in their wide advertising and promotion. And to do that, all you have to do is get their instant payment API integrated into your shop or your online store, and then they'll help get the message out. So that was his message. And I mentioned I was going to uh, talk about something else on Reddit. So I saw this post because uh, when I saw the price, I was checking out reasons why this was happening. I mean, I had the email, but I just wanted to get like additional information if there was anything. And I stumbled upon this guy. He's the uh, quantum physicist, and he had... A lot of negative things to say. I'm gonna link his chat in the detail section as well so you can check it out. I don't want to get into it because I mean it does get a bit vulgar and I'm trying to keep my channel clean. Thank you. So um, yeah he did explain a bit about the history of Electronium. Says it's a fork of Monero and he talks about some technical stuff. He's a developer apparently for Neblu, Neblu cryptocurrency. And so he had a lot of negative stuff to say. But on the subject of today, which is their new instant payment system, he says that after they had a stupid design, remember he's not a fan, so if you're a lover of ETM, we're just going to skip past all of this. I'm trying to keep this as unbiased as possible. Now, he says they decided to take it to the next level. He says they implemented an SQL database layer over their wallets for their users and they're confirming transactions for these wallets locally and calling it instant payment. So I'm not so sure about that. And I want to know what all of you think. I want to know what everybody else has to think about this because after going through his comments, I know that he's extremely biased. So I don't want us to take this too seriously. I don't want us to take it you know, out there. But I mean, if you do have thoughts or if you agree with him, uh definitely let me know in the comment section i would love to see and learn more about that and i think it will help all the other viewers as well so scrolling down and looking into the comments in his post we see a comment from someone here he's called can't pee straight i love the handle i don't know tickles he says he's a moderator of the electronium subreddit and he'd like to give a little insight about the rant that we just saw and uh, he and so he outs the guy as a developer of Neblu. And he says the guy got kicked out of the Electronium subreddit for being very vulgar and derogatory. So he put up some pictures and images of what the guy had been saying. And then we also saw that the guy really wasn't getting a lot of love from Redditors. So I want you guys to look at this. I want you guys to analyze what's going on with Electronium. Let me know in the comment section if you own some Electronium, if you're interested in it, if you've tried out the mining app. I mean, I, let's, let's talk about this. Let's know what's really happening with you and your opinions on this. I'd also really love to hear from developers as well, just so we know whether this is something that you know people should be excited about because I'm not so technical myself and I can't exactly speak on this. I can only just relay the news and let you know what I'm seeing or what's, you know, what's happening in the market. And if that is going to help you have an edge, definitely that's what I want to do on the financial drive through. That said, let's take a look at the link on Vimeo. It's the uh, Electronium ETN Instant Payment API Donations Demo. All right, so that was really fast. And I mean, if you've tried this out, they do um, encourage people to actually try out the beta. So let me know if you try it. Let me know if you like this kind of content. And if you do, do smash the like button. Definitely, I do need those likes. Be sure to subscribe so you can catch my other videos as they drop. I'll try to drop a couple videos each week. So definitely appreciate it if you check those out. 
And once again, my name is Majesty Bianga, and this has been another edition of the Financial Drive-Thru. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.